Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crown. Today, we'll be reacting to Kaiju number 8, episode 4. And in the last episode, basically everybody competing in the exam ended up being sent to this area where they had to go and hunt down a bunch of different kaiju. But, before the exam even started, everybody had their like combat power evaluated with Shinomiya having the highest, I think she was at like 42, and Kafka had a zero. But then somewhere near the end of the episode, Kafka locked in, he powered up, and he went all the way from 0% to... 0.01%. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how big of a boost this is, but maybe that 0.01% is all he's going to need to handle business here. So, I guess we'll just have to watch and find out. If you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I drop a brand new reaction. And if you head on over to my Patreon and join the $2 tier, then you'll get access to all of my uncut reactions, including this series right here. But, with that all out of the way, let's dive into this. Continuing right from where we left off. Fortitude 9.8 is the name of the episode. Hey, that's a real one right there. He's had our back from the start. Here we go. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> hey, man, lock in, all right? These guys are fighting their hearts out. Honestly, they deserve the highest score. Because as important as it is to be like a formidable soldier on the field, their teamwork is impeccable. And I feel like that's also super important as well. Yeah, he won't be laughing for long. We'll show him. <laughs> he is loving this, man. But that also kind of means we're leaving a good, like, first impression on him. Yeah, at least she said, eat my dust! <laughs> These guys don't stand a chance, dude. Shinomiya's like that guy when you're, uh playing on rust and they just sit in the middle they know all the spawn locations just spawn camping you nope oh no gun Dang. oh my god oh man oh my god no way Nah, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. She pinned his mouth open and fired a blast down his gullet. Oh! Oh, whoa, what? And they, like couldn't even detect this guy on the radars unless he just suddenly popped up Jesus it did look like he shot her in the heart or something oh barely protected it he's gotta be like it can speak Hey, oh, what? Oh, man. That's... Those are some nasty wounds. Alright, there we go. Oh! Dang, man. I respect it. She's got that fight in her. That's for sure, but... Oh, but her dad probably wasn't like that. He was probably like, oh, top of your class? Expected. Putting 
on a brave face. What the hell is that thing? See? I told you. <laughs> Top of your class? That's the bare minimum. Dang, that's... That's brutal. That's so much pressure to put her under. You know what they say, pressure makes diamonds. I'm sure at this point she doesn't know how to- she doesn't even know how to rely on others. Oh my! And this thing is still growing? I think we might need Kafka. I'm not gonna lie. Dang! Come on, Kafka! Here we go. This time. He didn't go- oh, now he's going full transformation. Dang! Ah, oh, he looks so sick, dude! Oh my god! Ah, oh, come on, you're looking so cool, man. <laughs> Guess it is just Kafka at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, we said get that out of here! Oh my god. 9.8. One of the most powerful kaiju in history. Ah, oh, man, the music. Oh, he looks so cool, man. The visual effects in this anime are so fire. One punch. That's all he needs. Oh my god! Ah, down to the bone! Oh, <laughs> oh, that is disgusting, bro. His hand exploded and there was nothing left but bone, brother. This guy. Okay, it tried to regenerate, but it couldn't. Oh, there was more. Dang, he backhanded that thing to death. <laughs> Dang, hey, shapeshift back, they're coming! <laughs> Yeah, she's she's gonna pass out and wake up and just think it was all a dream. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is only the beginning. We're still at the tip of the kaiju iceberg. Yeah. Gotta look for the correlation between those two incidents. But I guess they don't know that Kafka was there during the first one. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, he's got to prove himself first. There we go. This series is so fire. Ah, <laughs> 
復活した怪獣どもはみんな片付けた幸い被害者もゼロで済んだ君が本獣を仕留めてくれたおかげや<笑>違うかなあ何やいえあの怪獣は私が倒しました Here we go See, it's interesting though, because he said it earlier, there's no way she could have done it. So I'm guessing he didn't expect her to accept it. Or take the credit. Why is he sitting on the toilet, bro? <laughs> oh. He can shape shift. Oh, he infiltrated our squad. What the heck? He's trying to keep his body from spazzing out? Oh my god, what a fire series, dude. I can't wait to see where things go from here. All right, so that was the end of the episode, and my question of the day for you guys is going to be, now in this episode, we were just kind of brought to the realization that there are higher, more intelligent kaiju out there. So let me know what that realization kind of leads your brain into thinking where this series is gonna go. Because you know, there's always that point when you're watching an anime where you get this new piece of information that completely changes the game. And that, I feel like, was, or that moment, was exactly that for this series. Where now, like, it, things are getting crazy. Now there's probably a whole faction of higher intelligent kaiju out there that are probably, like, planning a war as we speak against the human. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.